Oi! What are you doing? Leave my camera alone! Right, well I'm sorry about that year two. Hopefully we've got everything sorted. I left my laptop set up for one minute while I'm meant to make a drink and you just can't trust those naughty minions. But hopefully, hopefully that's the end of it and hopefully we can get on with the lesson without them coming back to cause any more trouble. Okay? Right, let's get started then. So, today's lesson we're going to look at playing some different rhythms. We're going to refresh a few things that we did in class when we were obviously back at school right at the start of year two. Uh, when we learn to read some different notes and we're going to have a play through some rhythms on our wonderful mini drums. Um, hopefully by now you have managed to make a drum. If for any reason um, you haven't done the last lesson yet, you could always stop this video, go back and do that lesson um, before you come and carry on with us today. Uh, but if for any reason you haven't got the stuff or you're not able to, or you don't have time to, then it's no problem. You can find something else to join in um, the lesson with. So maybe grab yourself a pan and a wooden spoon and you can use it like a drum. Don't have any pans, you could find a box, um, a, a tub, a toy, a teddy bear, maybe a naughty minion, a pet, a younger brother or sister, anything that when you hit it, it makes a good noise. Okay? Hello there children, it's Officer Bellingham here. Uh, I just wanted to say before you get started, please under no circumstances should you use your pets, your younger brothers, your younger sisters, your mums and dads or any other living creature as a drum. It will hurt them and it will get you into trouble with your parents or myself as a police officer. I know I can trust you to be sensible, but I'm just going to go and tell Mr Bellingham to stop giving you such silly suggestions, okay? Thank you. Anyway, I'll let you get back to your lesson and just ignore any other silly suggestions he gives you, okay? Thank you. I knew you'd be sensible. Okay, I suppose on second thoughts it probably wasn't a very good idea to suggest that you used your brothers and sisters or your pets as drums, so... I'm very sorry for suggesting it and let's maybe just stick to things that look like drums and things that won't get hurt if we hit them. Carrying on then, um, we're all ready. We've got a drum. We've got something that we can use to hit a drum. I've chosen just to use a very small paintbrush, but a pencil would be absolutely fine. Um, we just want to use something that's not gonna damage the balloon on the top when we hit it, but this makes plenty of noise to use to practice. Okay, so we're all at the ready, and I just want to, before we get started playing, just revise a couple of um, things that we've done before in music. So if you just have a look at my screen here, um, on the screen there are four symbols. They're symbols that you are hopefully familiar with because we did them earlier in the year when we were back doing our djembe lessons together. Um, all I want you to do in a second is just pause the video and see if you can explain the names. Just say simply the four names that we used in class to remember the rhythm. So we gave each one kind of a word association, something to do with something that we might drink. Okay, so find someone near you. Maybe there's a grown up near you. This is something you could definitely use your little brother um, or sister for if you happen to have one. If not, maybe grab your teddy. Talk to your teddy, talk to your drum if you want to. It won't say much back, but at least you can explain them to something, okay? And then when you think you've got all four, unpause the video and we will go through them, okay? Off you go. Okay, let's see how many we got right. So the first one over there on the left-hand side is called coffee. And um, the second one across, just down there at the bottom, is T. And then we're on to the trickier ones. So they're both fizzy drinks rather than hot drinks, but that one with three notes there in the bridge just between the first two, we remembered as lemonade. 
And then if you've got all four maybe right, then the last one is called Coca-Cola. And remember, of course, they're just names that we gave them just to help us remember the rhythms and to start getting some word associations so we can hear how those rhythms sound. So we will use those again today and throughout some future lessons. Um, so first activity that I want you to do um, just to start kind of practicing reading some rhythms is, again, I've put a rhythm on the board there. We've got the four beats at the top. It says one, two three, four, and then we have four symbols. So can you remember the four symbols and try and work out how this rhythm might go if we could play it? Again, you can pause the video and when you've had a little look and we restart it, we'll have a go at playing it together as well, okay? So off you go, pause the video, see if you can work out how you would play this rhythm. Okay, so hopefully you managed to work out at least most of that rhythm. Let's have a look how we would play it. So there we have tea, lemonade, coffee, tea. And if we think about it as a rhythm, when we're going one, two, three, four, it would be tea, lemonade, coffee, tea. And we can repeat tea, lemonade, coffee, tea. T. And we can just repeat that rhythm over and over again. So get your mini drum or whatever it is that you're using as a drum um, and let's see if we can play it. All I'm going to do is I'm going to count us in one, two, three, four, and then we'll have a go. We'll maybe play the rhythm four times and then we'll stop and see if we can work out another one. Okay, are you ready? Join in with me and let's see how we go. Okay, so one, two, Three, four, so tea, lemonade, coffee, tea, tea, lemonade, coffee, tea, tea, lemonade, coffee, tea. One more time, tea, lemonade, coffee, tea. Okay, there you go, first rhythm. Hope you got on okay with that one. Let's have a look at another one. Okay, so again, you can do exactly what you did last time. See if you can work it out first. Give the video a quick pause. And when you think you've got all four notes worked out, maybe have a go trying to play it by yourself and then we'll come back and we'll play it together. Okay, off you go. Okay, so you're back. Um, hopefully you managed to work out the rhythm. Let's see if you got it right. Okay, so it's coffee, tea, Coca-Cola, tea. Coffee, tea, Coca-Cola, tea. Okay, should we have a go at playing it together? Yeah, it's a little bit harder than obviously when we're playing it um, in a whole class and we've got lots of djembe's because we can listen to each other to keep ourselves in time. But hopefully you can hear my drum um, through the um, computer well enough to join in. So this time I'm going to think I'm going to say it with you the first couple of times, but then I'm going to stop saying it. So make sure that you're saying it in your head. Make sure you're saying those words out in your head or whisper them really quietly. OK, and it will just help you to stay in time. Are you ready? After four? One, two, three, four. Coffee, tea, Coca-Cola, tea. Coffee, tea, Coca-Cola, tea. By yourselves. Couple more times. stop there okay so well done that was just a quick revise of how we can play different rhythms and um, just trying to familiarize you, you again with the notes um, and how we can kind of put four notes together to make a rhythm so I've got a couple of activities for you to do the first one is just to give the video a quick pause see if you can make up your own rhythm make up one or two by yourself just um, using a mixture of those notes remember we always need to have four notes to make up the rhythm and then we just loop it over and over and over again 
again. So maybe make up one for yourself, video yourself playing it, and I'd love to see how you get on with that. Um, and then there is also an activity sheet that you can download, and it's got a few more for you to practice, plus a chance to have a go, like I said, at making one up of your own. So I'll pop a link either in the description here, I'll pop it on your Microsoft Teams as well, um, so that you can download the worksheet. And it's just three or four questions, just where you've got different rhythms like that, where you can have a go, see if you can write down whether they're teas, coffees, Coca-Colas or teas. And then there's a space with an extra challenge just to have a go, see if you can work out your own um, rhythm and draw out the notes and get it all written down as well. Okay, so enjoy that. Hope you have fun with that. As always, I'd love to see uh, pictures and videos. It was so great to see um, some of the pictures of your drums and some videos of you playing some of your drums throughout last week. So uh, I'd really encourage you to take a photo of you having a go at the worksheet, having a go playing on your drum, maybe send a picture of you playing along to um, each of the rhythms on the sheet. Uh, so I send a video, that would be great. As always, you can upload it to Teams on the assignment. You can post it. In that music channel you can pop it on twitter get your mums and dads to pop it on twitter and tag at norbridge music and i will make sure i reply um, and tell you that i've seen it and tell you how great your work is because i'm sure you'll be doing a fantastic job okay so that's it for this week quick little video but obviously you've got a bit of time to spend going through the activity and um, hopefully there's no more minions or anyone else coming back to disrupt our video next week, but I will see you again next Friday. Okay, bye for now. Bye.